All right, everyone, this is going to be the full breakdown of the server, and it's going to be a pretty lengthy video. Um, if you want to skip ahead, I will have timestamps below that you can utilize to flip through and go to the parts that you're most interested in. But basically, this is going to be describing the whole server, what's in it, just uh, just so much content is here. Because remember, we are all collectively paying $40 per month for thousands of dollars in high quality data, which is the entire point of this group. Because if you wanted, you know, a lot of this stuff elsewhere on your own, just for the things like our dark pool feeds cost 80 bucks a month, which is double the cost of the group. So that's the whole point is cut costs for everyone and also increase everyone's tool set to make better decisions. So here's the full breakdown. All right, so starting from the very top of the server, we have the server subscriptions channel. Now this is for anyone that has not subscribed yet. Anyone that would like to try the full week free trial, this is for you. It is $40 base per month. You get everything in the server, all of the feeds, all of the data, all of the trading insights, all of the communication, all of that is included with the $40. The only difference between the first tier and the second tier is the webhook integration and your own personal portfolio that you can use to conduct trades in. So your own personal portfolio would be your own personal channel that you can use to call commands, store information, follow other discords, set up a webhook for trading view or whatever other service you may have or you may use. Um, you get full access to everything in the server. Again, all bot commands. You can follow channels with specific feeds like the bullseye alerts. You can follow this channel here, which will alert you with play opportunities, things like that. So that is the only difference between these two. Um, I am a member myself to the Discord uh, because everyone contributes for the purpose of scaling data. That is why there's a price tag on it. That is the only reason there's a price tag on it is because data is not free. And to get quality data, and if you're going to be trading, you want the best quality data that you can get. So that is the goal, to scale the data collectively, which we have been doing since day one. So that is the main page here at the top. If you are on mobile, you can still sign up for the trial through mobile, but you have to go through um, your phone's desktop mode on your internet browser. So whether it's iPhone or Android, you should be able to go to the any browser, go to the top, click the three dots. You're gonna see enable desktop mode or check desktop mode. Once you do that, then you can see the actual signup page. This is just a bug on Discord side. Hopefully they'll be fixing that soon. But that's the main and top channel, server subscriptions. That is the only purpose that it serves. Uh, be warned, if you do sign up for the free trial for the higher tier, it is a one day trial and I have no control over that. Unfortunately, it is a one day for the higher tier, but I do have seven days on the lower tier. So for anyone that would want to look into it or see what we have to offer. Um, you can either finish the rest of this video or you can come see for yourself. Either way, that is the first and the top of the channel or the server. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the welcome channel. This is the first channel you will see by default when you enter the Discord. It's going to have a embed that's posted into the channel that looks just like this. It's going to have some information on it in regards to the server menu. Now without getting confused, and I will be making another subsequent video on how to use Discord, and I will explain how it's structured, how it's set up, some tips and tricks, and how you can utilize it in the best way possible. But for now, this right here is just explaining to you that the channels are categorized based on the letters in the front of each channel name. So for example, right here, you will see play, 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 because that's where all of the play channels can be found. Right here, you see CV, 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 CV. That just means Charlie's Viz. It has all of my YouTube videos, so you can easily find this section of the Discord. You also have CL, 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 which is the core logic. Each one has their own unique emoji next to it. You can see that here that we have CH for chat rooms, RSS for RSS feeds, NW for news feeds and all of the different sectors down here with all of the market feeds are down here. 
Now, the reason this is here is to prevent you from having to scroll all through the Discord to find the content that you're looking for, or if you want to set up some feeds on a particular channel, it makes it a lot easier just to be able to either come up here to the main channel or call a couple of commands that I will be explaining in that other video about how to use the Discord. But for now, if you want to use the welcome channel, it's very simple. You can read the different abbreviations here, which just reiterates what I was going through a second ago. But for example, you have three boxes down here at the bottom and you can actually search for using these codes here where you would like to go. And now this is best used on mobile. It can also be useful for PC as well. But for PC, you have control K, which opens the quick menu right here. And it works in the very same way that I was mentioning before. You just type where you wanna go. So for example, if you wanna to go to the chat rooms, you can hit CH and then all of your chat rooms come up just like this. If you want to look at the different feeds in the basic materials section, you hit BM and all of the basic materials channels come up. And to get there, all you gotta do is just click on it and you'll be taken to that channel. This one is the quant alert channel for the basic materials uh, channel here. So that is the menu. Now to use the menu, if you're on a, on a mobile, what you would do is if you want to search for a forum, which is like a member chat, you just click on it and that's where you're gonna find things like help for commands, videos, tips on the Discord, things like that are all gonna be here in the forum channel drop down menu. You can search by typing um, or on your phone you can type as well and the different categories will come up that you can choose from. The different forum categories that we have are CV for videos. You have the TA galleries for technical analysis, which if you go here, it's just going to be your channel that contains a bunch of different live technicals. But anyways, whenever you click on what you want, it prints out to the chat and it will be deleted after 10 seconds to keep the channel clean. And that's basically it. If you're looking for a text channel, Follow the same logic. If you want to look at the play channels, hit uh, type play, you'll get the play channels. If you want to do uh, commands for the command room, you can find the command rooms. For news, NW, all works the same way, very intuitive. And whenever you find something you want, just click on it and it will print out to chat and then just click the link and you will be taken there to get to your different channels. That is the welcome channel. This is the announcements channel. This is where you can find and look for any past announcements that I've made that are important and pertain to the group in general. You can find things like new bot commands, updates on the general state of the economy, things like that. I just posted a 2023 global outlook for China and the rest of the world today, earlier this morning. Um, you can't type in this channel to keep it clean. It's read only, but you can follow it. So if you have your own personal portfolio or things like that, you can just click the follow button down here and you will get important messages from this channel, either in your own portfolio or elsewhere in the Discord. And again, you can just scroll up to see the different announcements that I've made throughout the past. Okay, next we have the uh, Command Gallery. It's a forum channel that can be found under the Server Panel category. And what this shows is it shows a lot of the commands. It doesn't have all of them. This is a work in progress but we have commands that are here that you can look at and use. This one is a GIF example of a command you can use called the big flow command, which returns big dark uh, pool flow for the market. Um, you also have other member commands like LaRue posted um, some commands from his bot that we invited to the Discord the other day. He has a grow command and a show trade command for some trading results that you can look at. He explains the command here and shows the output here. Um, same for the show trade command as well. And you can also look at the different context commands we have. These are different things that you can type in the chat that will return different data points that you can use. So things like navigate, you can call a navigation menu down much like the welcome channel that will help you navigate throughout the discord. So make sure to go through those to get an idea of what we offer as far as commands. And uh, uh, also you can just hit the slash forward slash on your keyboard if you're on the PC or your phone, which will pop open a drop down menu and on the left hand side you'll see different avatars that have different bots on them and you can go through each one and see which one has uh, each command you can go through the different commands and see you know which one that you might want to take note of or that you would want to use there's a lot of useful commands here we utilize over 28 different APIs that bring in real time data 
high quality data. And um, I would definitely recommend using some of this because you can really break down a scenario by pulling it apart via these commands. So keep that in mind. But this is the command gallery. There will be a continued content being added here. Um, but yeah, I would definitely check this out just so you get somewhat of an idea of the commands in the server if you're not sure or haven't done so already. Okay, this is the help form. This is actually a very useful area to come to if you would like to learn a little bit about Discord and also where any member can come and make their own thread to ask for help. Maybe they have an idea, maybe they have something they wanna share, some research that they've conducted that they wanna put forth, anything like that, you can come in here and post. And to create a post, all you have to do is go up here to new post, type in a title of your post, um, test, but we're just going to do yeah, test post here and you have to enter a message in. It can be whatever you want. Um, there will be different tags you can select from different emojis as well. But uh, for right now, I'm not going to require any tags be made or anything like that, but you can add some if you want. But for now, this is it. If you have a question or anything, you just post it and whatever you have the message, how you want, you can add images or pictures if you want as well. Um, but when you're, whenever you're done, just hit post and you will have it posted. Now I'm on my uh, my member account that does not have admin privileges, so you can see through the lens of yourself, not through the you know how I see it or through the admin point of view. That way, it's more realistic, and you can see uh, you know the extent of power you have as far as what you can control in the Discord. But yeah, this is the help section. You can definitely come here and ask any questions that you want anytime. <laughs> What's up, Jollis? And uh, yeah, don't be afraid to ask for help. Okay, this is the trading floor section or channel of the Discord that we only keep it to trading chat here. We don't talk about anything off topic or anything random or we don't run bot commands here nonstop. So just try to keep this chat clean if you can. We'll share some gains or losses or what have you. Um, share some insight like Mr. English did here today. Very good, uh, very good insight you've been providing, man. Really appreciate it. Um, and other things like that, market updates, just anything market related. Um, can go here. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out the main chat in this one too. So the other main market chat room we have is the main chat, and that's going to be the not so market specific chat where basically anything goes. Just keep it respectful. Try not to be too much of a troll. If you are trolling, just try to keep it civil. But basically, if you have help, if you need help, ask questions. This is the place to do it. This is where a lot of people are looking, and are, most of the members are active um, as far as members who chat. So Main chat is a place to go to, you know, have some fun, test out some commands, ask for help, things like that. But uh, keep that in mind. So those are the two main chats. And we also have a off-topic chat where Spoons and Rudy tend to reside. And this is where the off-topic stuff is talked about. A lot of good discussion goes on here. A lot of interesting stuff goes on in here. So if you're more into that, this is definitely a chat room that you can go and utilize for some off-topic stuff, not so much related to markets. Then we have the SPX Spy Masters channel. Um, this is where Mr. Kung and folks like that like to hang out, and Dick Balls 69 of course, um, specifically like to trade spy on SPX and are pretty damn good at it. Has a lot of good insights that they provide in this channel here. So if you're more into trading spy or SPX, this channel may be somewhere you'd want to check out periodically. So that's basically it. And the only other chat room you could think of, or that I could think of basically to explain here would be the profit loss. Uh, channel where we share profits and losses and things like that. So that's basically it for the chat rooms. Okay, next we have the Bullseye channel. And this one has been providing very lucrative opportunities lately for a lot of the members. I just wanted to reiterate that this is a read-only channel. Try to keep it clean. A lot of people that work during the day, you know, whenever they get notified from this channel, they expect it to be a play opportunity, not somebody typing something. Um, in the chat. So I've, I went ahead and made it uh, read only so that problem would not continue to happen. But basically the way these work is they're going to come in and they're going to provide you with some information. They're going to provide you with the same message here. I would not pay attention to this. The expected to pan out within one to two days. Ignore that. Um, you set the tone, you set the parameters for what's best for you. You know, some of these, you know, honestly, you don't want to get caught up in holding them very long. They're not meant to be held. These are momentum opportunities specifically. So um, if you're trying to go for a price target or anything like that, or if you think that this being posted means that the strike price is going to be hit, that's not at all what these are. Uh, I would just focus on the AI confidence level 
the expiration date that it's recommending. And that's basically it. And whether it's a call or a put. Other than that, I would just take those three things and take that away with you to the chart and then make your own decisions based around how you normally trade or what's best for you. But most of the time, these do work out and there is some form of a opportunity to take profit. The part that when you get screwed on these is when you don't take the initial profit and maybe hold out for a little bit more and then you get burned. I would not recommend doing that. It's always best to take the profit if it presents itself. And it even says right here at the bottom, you know, always do your own due, due diligence on top of these trade ideas for shorter term expirations. It is better to add some extra time. So just for, you know, their own sake, they're putting that there. So that's the bullseye. And I've modified this to where if you want to set this channel to mentions only, and the way you can do that is if you're in this channel, the bullseye channel, all you got to do is come up here to the notification settings and turn on only at mentions. That way, whenever the at everyone alert comes out, whenever the confidence level is above that 75% threshold, you will get notified for only those AI confidence 75 plus and not every single bullseye that comes in. So it'll keep your notifications at a minimum. And when you do get them, you'll know that it's only a lucrative opportunity with a 75 plus percent chance of profit. So that's why I've set it up that way. And that's the modification that I've done to it. So I would definitely um, check this out. Make sure your notifications are on if you plan on taking advantage of this channel. Then we have the core uh, section here. I guess I need to fix. These should not be like this. So hold on. Let me fix that on my end. They actually should not be. And if there's any errors like this on anyone's end, let me know so I can fix it because you should have access to everything in the server. Um, oh, wow. Okay. That's the problem. You should have access to everything in the server. If you're a member, regardless of the tier, um, there should be no block channels at all for any members that are already part of the group. So just keep that in mind. So if you see any errors like that, let me know and it will be fixed. But basically, this is the core channel. I'm going to be doing something with this soon. Actually, I think I'm just going to remove this one for now because we're not going to use it for the time being. Core is pretty slow, and I want to make sure that it's still a viable strategy moving forward because the screener has been pretty dead um, for the last few weeks, and that hasn't happened since I've started running the strat. So got to reassess that for a few days and see what's going on. But I will likely add that channel back and put some form of a play content embed in it or something like that just to provide an easy way to come and look at the current core play screeners. Um, next, we have the high FTDs. I actually need to finish setting this one up as well. Uh, basically, you just have your high failure to deliver settlement window dates in here, just for a quick reference if you need to come and quickly check it. Um, short settlement windows are a very lucrative opportunity to play calls um, and play some relief rally from the massive amounts of short interest that exists in the market. So these are all the dates for 2023, runs till May. I'll update it as it gets later in the year, but this is the FTD's channel. Then we have the Quant Alerts channel. This is going to post Quant Alerts from QuantBot. Um, these are pretty accurate, but I wouldn't put too much faith in them. You only get a signal, which is bullish versus bearish, and a reference price. So these here, I would definitely assess the chart further to make your own informed decision on it. But the, the, the most lucrative opportunity seems to be coming from Bullseye right now, so I would definitely take it while it's hot and maybe ride the, uh, the bullseye wave. And then lastly in the play area, we have the SSR and reg show channel, which provides tickers that have been hit 10% or more on the day, which can provide some lucrative share opportunity plays for maybe those of you that don't like to play options. Just be wary of the spread and make sure you're not buying the ask on these. Try to get a nice bid price on them because you do not want to get caught up in those wide spreads, especially buying the ask in those wide spreads. That would not be good. That's your SSR Regso channel. And basically all of the main areas where play feeds come in streamlined with zero effort required, other than just making sure you're not getting into a bad trade over the, by not overlooking something obvious on the chart. But the most automatic play opportunity that we have is definitely going to be the bullseye right now, um, especially the 80 or the 75 plus percent uh, alerts. Those are going to be the ones that you want to go with and maybe not have to do so much work on the side to get into those because they pay out. You just got to remember to take profit. So those are the play channels. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the galleries as far as video galleries. Now this is probably the most, you know, educational section of the entire discord because it has my entire collection of YouTube videos on it and the stuff that I've covered from 2021 up until today. 
And it also has uh, Discord tutorials, tips, tricks, Alpha Query tutorial. If you're if you're not sure how to use Alpha Query, things like that, they're all going to be found here. Um, we have the Shorts section, which is going to teach you about Alpha Query, how to set up Discord notifications, how to use the Reg Show plays for play opportunities, how to easily find what you need within the Discord using the search function and features, how to use the Discord search in general, how to turn on developer mode so that you can find channels easily by typing hashtag in any chat room and you can find commands and things like that. That's going to be your short section of the Discord for all of your helpful uh, Discord tips, tricks, and Alpha Query stuff. Now, as far as TLDR, this is something I'm building. Um, I'm going to be posting uh, too long, didn't read versions of important documents such as the excess capital charge filing, economic outlook, and U.S. productivity out of the Fed, and other important macroeconomic articles and historic articles, things like that. You'll find uh, ELI5, ELI5 explanations in this gallery, which is explain it like I'm five, very easy to understand and broken down summaries of a lot of important documents. Here's another very, very important one. If you're looking to try to understand the core logic or see how it works or the chart setup, all of that's going to be here. You have a lot of different videos to choose from. Um, there's probably eight or nine hours of content in here alone, but you have you know the strategy as it evolved over time, you have it all right here. You have the core screener, Core logic and the spread and the illiquidity. You have how I check for plays, the criteria for bananas and gaps, MACD synthesis, core logic chart setup, the market timing of it. And then you have the full tutorial from Discord that I did live the other day. It's all here. Then you have the analysis section here, which is going to be, um, you know, based on chart analysis, uh, pattern recognition that I've seen, visualizations that I put together, you know, moving averages, uh, visualizing the repo, the entire market visualized. Uh, visualizing the gaps, charting gaps, wicks, things like that. Observations that I personally made. You can find all that stuff here. Then you have the FUDSTOP specific uh, section here. So you're going to have just videos about the Discord. You're going to have golden sweeps, how to use them for market-wide data. Some other things reiterated from the short section is going to be here. You're going to have how to use the quant bot, full tutorial, all of the commands that it offers, uh, the bullseye trade alerts, how I've tested them to see their accuracy, um, how we stay ahead as a group by keeping up with real-time research and developments in the market, how to query every ticker in the market, how to search for dark pool and options feeds within the Discord. And that's like, you know, using search like this, type dark pool spy, whoops, and it will return the dark pool feeds for spy, whoops, in dark pool feed. And you will get all of your dark pool feeds. Or it's dark pool trade. I'm sorry. Dark pool trade. I cannot spell today. Then you get a list of all your dark pool trades. And you can do it by ticker as well. So I did space QQQ. You would get all your QQQ dark pool trades. So that's what the search is for. You can use it's literally a gold mine of information. Uh, if you want to learn how to use the commands and what they mean, how to use the data, like how to read open interest and volume using the OI command, it's all here how to save messages as threads, how to um, utilize the flow premium command, how to utilize the Discord search, gaps charting, all that stuff's here. There's a plethora of info in this section here. And then the rest of it is basically just my, my stuff from Discord. Like if you want to learn about macroeconomics, it's all here. If you want to learn about the Fed now that's coming out in about three or four months, it's very, very important. You can learn about that here. You want to learn about the BlackRock plan that started in 2019 that led to most of the changes we've seen throughout the last few years, it's all here. Got Fed speeches, DTCC uh, filings and resets, things like that. Three red lines policy. It's all going to be here. It looks like that image expired. I'll have to fix that. But uh, yeah, you got history, uh, market history about you know Berkshire Hathaway, Salomon Brothers, CMKM Diamond, and the DRS stuff. You got Salomon Brothers and the flash crash in 1987. Bulls and bears turned sheep since 1762. Dematerialization white paper, ADF facility, COVID-19, lenders, last resort, all of it's here. Money market reforms, all that stuff. It's all found in here. And the Big Bang, of course. You can't forget that one. And then you have China videos. You want to get up to speed on China, their developments, the economic transformation, what's been going on with them for the last 10 years or so. I've covered it all here. And you can find all that information in the China section. Then you have markets. Learn about reality. Learn about reality readings, bona fide market making, short selling, you name it. It's all here. Uh, do ADRs, why ETFs are shorted, 13Fs and 13Gs, ETF e ecosystem creation process, DRS, 
Market miss with short selling, market miss with short interest. Using SPY dividends to identify bottoms of trends, ETF liquidity, um, you name it. It's here, free float, triple witching, hedge funds, max pain. Remember, I've covered a lot of stuff. I know my stuff when it comes to markets is just because I've read it all. And it's all here for you to read as well if you want to. Then you got research. This is just personal research I've done. Maybe not so much market related, but outside like the Human Genome Project, which was just completed this year, actually. Um, I did some Area 51 stuff, uh, Citadel visualizations through mind maps. Uh, why do AMC and GME correlate? That, that was an old one. Ryan Cohen's letter to GameStop. You know, all that stuff's going to be found here. Uh, how global governance is a thing. Uh, Reddit was taken over by an elitist from the Middle Eastern Task Force. All that stuff's going to be found here. Psychology, social media, mind your voice, monopoly of the mind with social psyop, you know, debunks, videos I made debunking obvious error from YouTubers that have just completely got things wrong. Cited works, bitcoins, white papers, trading videos, how to set up different uh, indicators, how to use different market strategies, option strategies, an entire suite of content from the OIC, how options work. It's all here. A lot and a lot, a lot of content. It's like basically a library of stuff for you to look at. Then the biggest section, of course, is the SEC filings that I've covered since 2021. All going to be found here. We got over, I think, 70-something videos now to, to look through. So quite a bit of material for you to go through. And then you got the core logic section, right? That's going to have all of your information pertaining to core logic. You're going to have why it works. It's not just a strategy that works for reasons. It has very specific fundamental reasons of why it works. And a lot of it has to do with the current state of the market being illiquid and with a massive repo demand and with all of the collateral being shuffled around and deleveraged and things like that. That can all be found here, the why. Then you can go to the criteria channel to find the criteria that you are uh, going to be looking for as far as the plays are concerned. Then you have what to avoid, what to specifically avoid if it presents itself within a play opportunity. So things to look out for. So that is going to be your gallery section. All this information is very, very useful. And I would definitely recommend checking all this stuff out because you can definitely learn something from all this content that I've covered over the past couple of years. And it will definitely help you learn Discord and Core and things like that as well because it's all in here. Everything you could ever want to know is basically in here. Okay, the next area we have, and I didn't go over this, uh, but I should have. This is the Dolly Gallery. We have a uh, Dolly image generation uh, command that you can use. It, it does have a cooldown because it's pretty expensive to use, but everyone's welcome to use it. Um, and it does produce images based on text that you input into the prompt. So, for example, um, Jawless has made some of his stuff here. Beastie has her gallery up. I have my gallery. I made a bunch of space. The uh, pictures here, they look pretty cool. Like this one looks pretty dope. I like that one a lot. I also like this one here, it looks pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty cool, fun fun thing to play with. And you do have rights to the images you create. So keep that in mind. As soon as you create one with a command, you have rights to that image. So keep that in mind. Now, other than that, we have the research section here, which is the next part I was gonna talk about. The first channel here is, is a forum channel and it's gonna have live technicals that you can use. I like to use this as a little cheat sheet like I'll have a chart up and I'll just scroll down and be like, okay, does this match? Does this match? Does this match? You know what I mean? And look for basically what's displaying itself on the chart. It's, it can be very helpful. Or if you want to learn about them as well, you can click on each one and you'll get a full breakdown with implications, descriptions, the trading considerations for each one of these different technicals. And there's about, I believe, 47 or 50 or so of these in here that you can look through. So very, very cool and very useful and it looks good on mobile as well. So definitely recommend taking advantage of these and reading about some of the implications and strategies and trading uh, considerations behind a lot of these different technical patterns that you look at every day. Then we have the questions forum here, and this is the last of the forums available in the server, but this is where you, if you want to come and ask questions about the market, uh, you can do that here. If you want to you know, share some research or share some interesting findings, come and post it here. Um, there's no rules basically here. You just, you know, just keep it civil. Obviously don't ask any absurd questions like when should I sell this stock or anything like that. Keep it related to market topics. And if you have a trading question, that that's okay as well. Um, just make sure it's a, it's a question that someone can actually answer. But anyone's welcome to make a post here. And again, to make a post, you just take new post, make the title name uh, or name it, whatever you want. Question 
wind moon. No, don't do that. But any question you have, you can just post it and it will show up here and other members or myself will be able to come and look at it. Okay, next section is the Trady Ticks section. Now, this is where all of the different feeds and auto posting feeds are going to be found from Trady Ticks. You can get your news updates here, set notifications if you'd like. And you'll have to actually set notifications here for all messages because I don't have anything set up particularly for mentions here. So if you want to get notified whenever something comes in here, you can go through and customize it how you want. That's the beauty of this, of this server is that you literally have over 200 channels to choose from to customize your data input however you would like. So you're not overflowed with information. If you don't want anything, just hit nothing and move on. This channel does give you the important news notifications market wide. Then you have your dark pools market wide here with uh, the dark pools channel. You have your sweeps as well, option sweeps, golden sweeps, tradey flow, which is different options that have different characteristics um, that match the option. They are highly traded options with lucrative spreads on the pricing. So keep that in mind here with the tradey flow. You also have scalps, provide some scalping play opportunities intraday. Social spike provides retail interest spikes that will be submitted and sent to discord whenever a ticker of interest is being discussed on a social media platform it will alert discord to let you know um you have insider trading channel which obviously shows you the insider trades from a market wide basis stock breakouts which show you stocks that are potentially breaking down or breaking out above or below their respective resistance or support levels you will have a momentum score a relative volume score and a resistance level for the breakouts and a support level for the breakdowns. So lots of these posts per day. Then you'll have analyst upgrades, which will alert you every time a company is upgraded or downgraded, it will be posted here. So you can follow that if you would like. Then we have crypto breakouts works very similar to the stock breakouts minus the support and resistance level. You just have relative volume and the type, whether it's a pullback or a breakdown, or I'm sorry, pullback or breakout. Then lastly, we have the crypto signals channel, which is gonna give you different crypto signals. This one will actually give you the symbol name, the entry price, the position, the target price, the stop loss, and the potential profit. So it's kind of like trading crypto with uh, training wheels. So if you would like to follow this, you can do that as well. And that's but basically all of the trading ticks channels the only one I didn't go over was the bullseye because I went over this earlier in the video. This is the most lucrative play opportunity that TradyTix provides, which is why I put it at the top of the channel. But that's it. TradyTix section accessible by TT. And what I mean by that is hashtag TT. There they all are. Okay, the next section is the feeds section, which is abbreviated with the FD. So to find them from Control K, you just type FD and all the feeds will come up. To find them from the chat, you just type hashtag FD as long as you have developer mode on, or you can just use slash navigate and FD and they'll all show up. So anyways, FD channels are your feeds. These are going to be market wide feeds. You can come and follow if you would like. Same process to set up notifications. Make sure you go through each of these channels that you would like to get info for. Make sure that your notifications are set up. So once you have them set up, now you're going to get market wide dark pools. You can see them coming in right now as I'm making this video. Um, we have dark pools coming in market wide in this channel. So if you want to see those, make sure you have these on. Um, we have golden sweeps as well. Operates the same way market wide. It's going to post any golden sweep that is made from the options market into this channel. And you will get the golden sweep uh, ticker name. You will get the sentiment bearish or bullish or mid market. You will get the strike price, contract type, expiration date, volume, open interest, size and price, premium, trade side, consolidation type, trade type, reference price, and the details, whether it's unusual, golden sweep, or is an opening position or not, which this right here can be very, very helpful. And then of course, you'll get the timestamp. These are done in real time, same with the dark pools and same with the quant alerts. These are your market-wide golden sweeps. Then you have your market-wide trading halts. If there's any trading halts that occur, it will be in here. This is just for quick reference. If you wanted to look through and see you know, the volatile stocks, maybe you're looking to sell some IV. This may be a good place to go and look for something like that. Then you have your unusual options alerts, which is going to come in. 
Um, these have a, a couple of different meanings. Um, one of them being, you know, when there's more volume, than open interest, when the sentiment outweighs uh, the trend, basically a lot of different methods could make this unusual. The main one being the amount of open interest or volume that you will see. So this one here has 10 K open interest, but it has 6.8 volume. Um, most of these will operate off of volume. So keep that in mind. And you can actually go into the options chain and verify the accuracy of these by matching up the volume and open interest with what the alert is actually saying. So keep that in mind as well. These will be coming in on a market wide basis in this channel. Then you have large dark pools, which are specifically large dark flow that are coming in market wide, which will provide you with the simple name, price, size, and the total as far as monetary standpoint and the sector that it, it is under. And you can see this one is working in real time right now as well. We just had a Tesla one come in. Then you have weekly flow, which is just the week's flow. So it's only this current options week. So it's not going to post anything other than what's coming in this week and has an expiry of the 13th. So if you're looking to play some weekly uh, opportunities, you can maybe look here for some bullish or bearish sentiment flow coming in through the weekly flow channel. Then you have the opening flow. This is specific flow that occurs for the day or for new positions. So all of these feeds that you see in this channel are going to be newly open positions, which you can also come to this channel if you like playing some of those shorter dated uh, options or maybe even the monthlies. This could be a good place to come to see what positions are being open, where they're being opened at, and what the sentiment is behind them and could provide some play opportunities as well. And that's basically it for feeds. The only other one we have here is the VWAP differential, which I had some alerts that I had created, which I will be likely using these again. I'm just trying to optimize them. Once I get that done, I'll have this channel up and running again. And uh, we'll have VWAP differential, which is basically going to alert you whenever the VWAP price of a particular stock is 20% uh, below the current price, providing a lucrative opportunity. Okay, this is the RSS section. Now, this section is very important also if you're looking for a streamlined way to keep up with real-time market developments, real-time Fed developments, SEC filings, anything like that is going to be found here. And then you also have some news narratives that you can monitor as well. So, for example, you have the Econ Library here, which posts some useful information as far as researching and markets are concerned. You have the DTCC, which you will get important notices, rule filings, things like that, which can be very, very important to keep an eye on. You have things out of FINRA, like trader alerts, new rules, um, you know, proceedings, litigation, all that stuff will be posted here, regulatory notices. Then you have Mad Money. Uh, you have Jim Cramer's Mad Money here. You'll get a feed from Jim Cramer. If you're looking to buy calls on something and he posts something that comes in with puts, you may want to go the opposite because, you know, Inverse Kramer. It's just another avenue for you to keep an eye on, and you will get this posted throughout the day, um, usually usually once per day, a couple times a day, I think, is, is the average. So once in the morning, once in the, in the evening, but uh, this is something interesting to keep an eye on as well. Then uh, you have the NASDAQ channel as well, which provides you with all of the NASDAQ information, things like corporate events, trading halts, um, splits, reversals, reverse splits, buyouts, mergers, all that will be posted here as well as NASDAQ rules and things like that. And uh, new new e uh, indexes like NASDAQ today, or not today, this was on the 19th of December, but they announced that they launched three new indexes, effective Monday, December 19th. So important information can come here as well. NSCC, National Securities Clearing Corporation, you're going to get rule filings, information, SEC notices out of here. Then you have the SEC channel itself, important regulations, important filings are going to be posted here, litigation processes, things like that. Then you have CNBC, you're going to get your news headlines, news narratives, keep an eye on what the media narrative is on the current day. Same thing with the New York Times and Yahoo and Market Beat, just different news to keep an eye on to assess narratives. Remember, we don't use news to follow what it says, we use it more so to analyze it and as a trading indicator. Okay, next is the massive news gallery or news channels selection that we have. So if you want any kind of news streamlined to you, this is where you go set up your notifications to make sure you're getting the news that you want delivered to you. We have a lot of different topics to choose from. Of them, we have analyst ratings, bonds, biotech, buybacks, cannabis, commodities, crypto, dividends, downgrades, earnings, emerging markets, 
ETFs, fintech, forex, futures, gaming, general, global, government, healthcare, hedge funds, insider trades, IPOs, large cap, intraday update, media, movers, mid cap, offerings, options, penny stocks, politics, pre-market, press release, price targets, rumors and psychology, sales, sec regulations, small caps, shorts, social media, technicals, top stories, and trading ideas. If any of those topics interest you, I would highly recommend coming and clicking on the channel that, you, that interests you. Go to the notification bell. Make sure that all messages are on so that you will get notified whenever new news articles come in for that particular topic. And that's basically the news section. Just streamline news straight to you based on categories that you prefer. Okay, the next area of Discord is the market surveillance section, which has every sector in the market broken down into four different feeds, where it is the dark pool, golden sweep, unusual options, and quant alerts by sector. This breaks down the general channel that I showed you up above, where it shows all the different unusual options, dark pools, and quant alerts. That's consolidated. This is separated so that if you want for research purpose or if you're someone that likes data analysis, you can literally come in here and you can see and get the information from each sector to see how much flow is going in one sector, leaving another sector. Keep an eye on the different unusual options or golden sweeps coming in on the industrial sector versus the real estate sector. Very helpful in finding sector rotation trends. So that is the purpose of this all being here as well. Uh, so if you would like to utilize that from a data standpoint, I would definitely do that because you can get a lot of useful information out of these channels. And if you want to find specifically, let's say you wanted to see the unusual options in the um, consumer defensive section, you don't have to search or anything for or anything like that. You just simply go to the golden sweeps consumer defensive channel, and then you'll get all of these different golden sweeps out of this sector. Okay, so the last couple of sections here at the bottom, if you're a, if you're a scroller, are going to be the Twitter, uh, Twitter monitoring and Reddit monitoring uh, channels. And to get there quickly, you can just hit TW for Twitter or RR for Reddit. That's where you're going to find all of your Twitter and Reddit and social media stuff. If you want to follow Ortex, see what they're saying, you can do that. You can follow me, Boss Blunts, see what he's up to, what kind of ridiculous things he's saying. God, imagine being in the game this long and not learning anything. You can do consolidated Twitter. You have every Twitter feed in the market coming in here. Uh, Ryan Cohen, Adam Aaron, and World Economic Forum is here as well. Then for Reddit, you have our Fudstock Reddit, which is not really active. Superstock, if you want to follow what they're talking about, you can do that. AMC Stock, R Finance, Wall Street Bets, Stocks, and Crypto. You don't have to actually participate and be a part of the Reddit platform because you can just scrape the data and be a part of it from above in a safe Discord space without any PSYOP or virtue signaling going on. So if you want to follow these uh, channels here, go for it. I'm considering removing all of this. It just takes up space, in my opinion. I might call a member vote on that to see if we want to get rid of these because I don't see much use case for it. But um, if you find this useful or if someone in the group uses this stuff, please let me know and I'll make sure to keep that in mind and uh, I'll call a vote to see what the rest of the group thinks. But that's basically it for your monitoring social media. Okay, and last but not least, we have the personal portfolio channel. The, now, this is for the higher tiered members that wanted the extra space and to get the webhook integration. Now, this is a space for you to call your own commands. As you can see, it's a clean chat. Only you can see it. Um, and me, of course. But if you ever need any help, I can easily find you. You just at mention me and I'll be able to come and see the message and help you out. But the purpose of this, there's so many use cases for it. Um, it's actually insane. First of all, I mean, you can call your own commands and do whatever you want command-wise in here without worrying about clogging up any kind of chat. And you can keep track of what you're doing without any delay. So you're the only one in here that can see it. And that's pretty great because no one else can clog up your space. You can also create an unlimited amount of threads to store information that you would like to store if you would like to do that. But the main thing and the coolest things about this is that you can actually scroll through here and if you want to follow, for example, the Bullseye channel, all you got to do is click on Bullseye, follow this channel by clicking the follow button down here. And now you're going to get every play that comes out from that channel into your own personal channel. So pretty nice there. So to do so, let me close this again. 
you click the follow button and it's going to pop up with something like this. Send to, select FUDSTOP, and then the channel you're going to select, you're just going to make sure you select your own channel. On your end, it, you should only be able to see your personal portfolio. But whenever you do so, um, you just select it, and then you will be following this channel for the foreseeable future. So whenever a, a new message posts in this channel now, it's going to show up into this personal portfolio, um, and you will get a confirmation message right here. Um, letting you know that that will occur. And this will work for any uh, channel in the server. That's an announcement channel. And I'm about to go through and I'm about to make every channel an announcement channel. That way you can follow anything you want in the server directly to your portfolio. Um, you can also filter your portfolio feeds. So for example, if you type show industry or let's see, is it list? Yeah, list sectors, list news. Then what you can do is you can basically pick through this list of stuff you want to track and then make a list, post in your channel, and I'll come and I'll turn these feeds on, um, which I can't do from that account. So let me switch over to this one real quick. These feeds here. And then I can basically come in for you in your channel and customize by sector and by industry what you would like to get or by news or by Twitter handle or what have you. I can come in and set you up a, basically your own personal streamline of information based on how you want it. That's the cool part about the personal ports. And then another feature that you get with it is the webhook integration. So in order to do your webhooks, you're going to have to have 2FA uh, verification set up. That's not me. It's a requirement from Discord. Um, but to create a webhook, you come to integrations Go to create webhook and then give it a name. You can put give it a URL avatar if you want. Test webhook. And then you can save it. And now if you're, you know, any kind of developer have any kind of webhook experience, you'll know that you can use this to follow other discords. You can use it to send messages from TradingView to yourself, say signals, alerts from outside places. It's basically an extension cord that allows you to bring other things in from outside of Discord into your own personal portfolio channel, which is why this is set up this way. So anyways, you can definitely make use of these personal ports, um, basically even streamline the information further and segregate it down to exactly what you want and have it come into your own personal space. And that's basically it. That's the whole server. It's a lot, I know, but the purpose of it is to basically allow what wouldn't be possible without the group that we have. We all contribute the same to the same cause of getting better data. And that is the only reason there's a price tag on it is because the data is not free. But this allows us to get better information, higher quality information, utilize better commands with better data to make better decisions to increase our trading performances and you know increase uh, maybe our learning just in general. I've seen a lot of people here take advantage of the, of the features we offer in the group. And I want everyone in the group to get what they are paying for. That's the whole purpose of it. And there's a lot of stuff here to utilize. Hopefully this video helped you go over it all. But that's the beauty of it. You know, we're all here to basically use this stuff as they come out. And uh, it's pretty amazing just the developments that have came out since we started the group. A lot of technological updates have surfaced just since that time. So again, I will make a subsequent video on... Um, what we have as far as commands, the data and how to use it and how to use Discord in general. This was more about the server, what content is in it and how to locate it and what each of the channels are and what they mean, how to find them, how you can use your personal portfolio and things like that. And also keep in mind, if something isn't working right, please let me know because keep in mind, this is just one person. It's, I'm doing all of this by myself. All of the development, all of the updating, all of the researching, I'm doing it all on my own, doing as best I can. So if something doesn't work right or something doesn't look right, please let me know and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But just keep in mind, it's only me doing this. So it is a lot of work and it's a lot of upkeep. So <laughs> bear with me on, on the issues if there are any. But I don't know if there are any issues if they're not brought to my attention. Because again, it's a lot to manage for one person. But I... Uh, I appreciate it nonetheless, and hopefully you found some value and uh, found this video helpful. See you later.